Top test prep. Hi, my name is Krishna and I'm a tutor with Top Test Prep. Today I'd like to talk to you about how to best prepare for your ACT math section. One of the key things to keep in mind is what's actually going to be tested so that you know exactly what you need to study. So let's go over that. There are five major topics that are covered on the ACT math section. The first is pre-algebra topics. These are topics drawn from the earlier parts of your Algebra 1 class and from the year before Algebra 1. So these will be more simple questions that have some arithmetic component and some algebraic component. For instance, you might be given four numbers that when averaged together give you a fifth number and you have to solve for one of those four numbers. A second type of question is the just regular algebra questions. These are questions drawn from both the latter half of your Algebra 1 class and your Algebra 2 class. So these involve solving more difficult equations, maybe solving systems of equations or quadratic equations or even dealing with rules for exponents. The third major topic is coordinate geometry and don't be fooled by the name, this is a topic that's probably more covered in your Algebra 2 class than in your, in your geometry class. Coordinate geometry questions are those questions that ask you to deal with shapes or curves in an XY coordinate plane. So once again, you're going to be referencing your Algebra 2 class and learning about things such as translations and rotations and how functions are graphed. The fourth major topic is plane geometry. Plane geometry is that geometry that is dealt with very extensively in your geometry class. So these are going to be questions about solving for angles and shapes or solving for areas. The fifth and final topic is trigonometry. Now trigonometry is appropriately dealt with in your trigonometry course, which is probably the last course you took um, before any sort of calculus course or before taking the ACT. So trigonometry is the subject that deals with questions such as sine, cosine, and tangent uh, questions. An important thing to note is that your Algebra 1 and 2 classes are going to deal with the majority of the questions, all three of these topics. In addition, it's important to note that for trigonometry, you're typically going to receive about half as many questions as you would receive on any of the other individual subsections. So, for more tips on how to prepare for your ACT math, you can enroll in one of our tutoring programs at 800-501-PREP or visit us at toptestprep.com.